In this video, we will be setting up a Profibus slave residing in a Compact Logics backplane and preparing it to communicate to a Profibus master. The module we will be using is a ProSoft Technology ILX69 PBS Profibus slave for Compact Logics. We will be adding this module to a new project using an add on profile and an add on instruction. There are three ways to configure the module's slave address. One, setting the dials on the front of the module, then power cycling. Two, using a Compact Logics processor to set the slave address. And finally, using the Profibus master to send the address to our slave using the Profibus network. In this video, we'll be setting ours to receive the address from the master. The first step will be installing the new AOP, or add-on profile, for the ProSoft family products. This can be downloaded from our website or taken off the product DVD. To start the install, we need to have all Rockwell products closed, including RS Links. Double click on the mpsetup.exe and follow the prompts to finalize the installation. Once completed, we will open up RS Logix 5000. You can also use Studio 5000. I will be creating a new project, so click on New. I will be using an L36 ERM processor using version 20. I will name this project Profibus Slave and then click OK. Once open, we can add the Profibus Slave to the backplane. Right click on the 1769 bus and choose New Module. Uncheck All Vendors and check only ProSoft Technology. Then choose the ILX69 PBS, then click Create. In the new module window, give your Profibus slave a name. I will choose Slave. If your module is not in slot 1, you can change it here. Then click on the Configuration tab. If you want to change the IP address of your module, you will do so here. From the IP Settings drop-down, choose Manually Configure IP Settings. My IP address will be 192.168.0.65 If you do not know your IP address, consult your network administrator. The next step is to click on the Advanced tab. Here is where we tell the ILX69 PBS to receive the slave address from. Click on the Configuration Type drop-down. We will choose Obtain from Master. Now the master can send us our slave address. If you would like to manually assign the slave address instead of having the master assign the address, choose Obtain from Ladder and enter the available slave address above. When finished, click OK. Now we need to install an add-on instruction to get this module talking to the processor and bring in some diagnostic data. Double click on the main routine. If you do not wish to install in the main routine, that is OK. Just make sure that routine is being called by the main routine. Right click on any rung and click Import Rungs. Select the ILX69 PBS add-on rung and choose Import. This add-on rung can be found on our website or on the product DVD. To verify that this AOI is pointing at the right module, click on Tags and make sure all the local tags have your correct slot number. If not, change it underneath the Final Name column. Mine is slot 1, so I will leave them at 1. When finished, click OK. Now let's go over where you will interface with the Profibus data. Double click on the controller tags, expand ILX69 PBS, then expand the Profibus data. Here is the output array where the master will send us data. And here is the input array where you will send the master data. Now that everything is completed, we can download to the processor. You are now ready to send and receive Profibus data to the Profibus master. The Profibus master will need a GSD file for the ILX69 PBS. This is a file that will give the master all of our available parameters and any data restrictions. This file can also be found on our website and on the product DVD. For any more information on this product or any of our other products, please visit us at our website at www.prosoft-technology.com. And as always, happy training.